Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day four. Is it day four? Yes, it's day four of Birthday Bonanza. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. As you can see, I am not dressed. We are having a day off today, which is really well deserved. This is our first day off since a week last Monday, is it? Yes. So we are going to totally enjoy it. I'm not getting dressed until I have to. I'm going to have to get dressed at some point. Here is Danny. Where is he? There Morning, he is. everybody. Yeah, I look different, I know. <laughs> I cut his hair for him last night. So he's all freshly hair-cutted and, yeah, he's happier now. Thank you for all the lovely comments on the Star Flake. Oh, it's giveaway day. Giveaway it, is give day. Day. it is giveaway day. Um, yeah, thank you for all the lovely comments on the Star Flake. I was honestly so, so pleased to have finished it. Um, I don't actually think I knitted it fast. I didn't. I started it Christmas Day, and I didn't really work on anything else. That's the only reason it's finished so quick. I nattered and nattered and nattered at Monday to start early. I think I mentioned it on today's podcast, which has gone up today. Which actually, talking about the podcast, I think I might need to change the thumbnail for it because it looks really similar to the birthday bonanza thumbnail. Anyway. It was supposed to start on the 1st of January and most people had. So that's probably why you think that I've, I've knitted it fast. I haven't. I started at Christmas Day because I kept nattering at Monday saying, when can we start? When can we start? And she gave in in the end and let us start it. Well, said that we could all start it early. And I think that was because of my nattering. So I did actually start it Christmas Day. Um, there's no plans for today at all. I'm just going to relax. There's plenty to do, I've got plenty to do, but there's not any major plans for today, so I'll take you along with what we do. And yeah, thank you for those of you that also have said that you've been here since the first episode. I know a lot of you have because I recognise your names. And I had a few comments last night saying that you'd been back and watched that first episode. Please don't. <laughs> I can't even watch it. It really makes me cringe. I can't watch it at all. It was horrendous. Um, it was horrible. <laughs> anyway, I'm knitting on my socks. The dog is sitting at the side of me. Jack did come in yesterday. He's absolutely fine. Um, he's gone out again at the moment. He's been in all night and he's just gone out. So hopefully I'll be able to catch him on the vlogs for you today. Um... The dog is here. Ribbles, Scylla. Yeah, my pyjamas. <laughs> Ribbles. They're not actually my pyjamas, the Danny's. I always steal them. Scylla, Rubes, are you sulking? She's sulking because I had a crumpet and I didn't share it. So she's not impressed with me. You should have shared yours. Yeah, you threw most of yours away. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. Here he is. Here is Jack Jack. Hello, darling. Jack Jack. Jack Jack. He wants to go outside, but it's raining. Jack Jack. Hello, buddy. There we go. Let's go and get his face for you. Jack! Hello, darling. Everybody's been asking about you. Oh. I managed to grab him for you. As you can see, his fur needs to grow back. So, I have just downloaded the Fancy Pantsy uh, Leggings pattern. I'm so excited. I have wound yarn as well. I did have a look at the drops design one that I was doing. And that this what I'd cast on for that on the smallest size was 216 stitches. This is less. So I'm hoping that this is going to be right. We shall see. So I haven't swatched. I know, I know, I know. But I'm not going to either. <laughs> I'm just going to go for it and see how far we get. It's a fair few stitches smaller, so it should be okay. The only thing is, on these leggings, 
it's stock and stitch. The waistband is ribbon, the rest of the leggings is stock and stitch. I would really like all of them in ribbon, but I'll just see how much I've had enough of the ribbon when I come to that point. But I'm about to cast on. Yay! That is one relaxed cat. That is Stuart. Stuart! Stu! Hello, darling. Oh, hello, darling. Hello, sweetie. Look how his little paws are all tucked up. Bless him. As you can see, I am surrounded by knitting. Best thing ever. I've come back with a book recommendation if you have Audible. Now, I don't, I've always said I don't like Audible. And I've tried really hard to like it. Now, I have totally changed my mind. I've got some credits left and I don't know what book to get. So if you've got any good book recommendations, do let me know. And something came up on... I think it was on Facebook or something like that, a, a recommendation. And it's one of those that's included with your Audible membership. So you don't have to use a credit on it. And it's called The Cabin on Souder Hill. It's so good. I'm about two, two or three hours into it. It's really, really good. So if you would like a recommendation for Audible, this has totally changed my experience of Audible, this book. It's brilliant. It's about this couple, the buyer cabin in... A cabin in the woods somewhere and the husband is quite um, a brash man, quite a controlling man and they've got a 15 year old daughter and they've come away for a weekend away or a week away or whatever at this cabin in the woods and they've left the daughter at home and they've only owned the cabin for a number of months, like maybe six months or something like that. Anyway the husband goes missing so the woman phones the local sheriff and is telling her like all these weird stories about this this air cabin and before the husband went missing he kept saying he could see a cabin at the bottom of the hill but there wasn't a cabin at the bottom of the hill and he kept saying he could see this cabin at the bottom of the hill so he went down to have a look and the wife had stayed in bed and he just never came back. So she phones the sheriff and he's telling her these here weird stories about this cabin. He's not too concerned and he's not really doing over much about it. So the woman late at night decides to investigate for herself. She can she then sees these lights at the bottom of the hill like another cabin. So she goes down to investigate herself and she falls. And she ends up at this cabin that's apparently not there at the bottom of the hill. Sorry, that light's probably really weird, isn't it? Try and sit like that. Um, <clears throat> so she goes into this cabin and her husband's there. The cabin is exactly like theirs, bar a couple of different pieces of furniture, exactly like theirs. And her husband is really kind and caring and not the man that she knows. He's really, really caring. But their life is completely different. In this life, um, the daughter had um, died and her husband's completely different so she's trying to get back to the original cabin it's so good if you like that kind of mystery sort of thing oh, I'm really enjoying it so I've been listening to that well last night and this morning I've been listening to that if you would like a recommendation and other than that it's now just after half past one got some jobs done need to get some more jobs done i'm gonna have i've just made myself a nice cup of tea and i am gonna sit and do a little bit of knitting i've cast on the advent pants oh, i'm in my happy place out in his what's it called Oody, Oody, Oody. i'm out in the star flake <laughs> i bet that's really windy i've forgotten milk no i haven't forgotten milk i'm lying i've run out of milk Finley's trying to run ahead of me. It's freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just nipping down to the corner shop. Mm -hmm. You alright, Finn? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You need a haircut? I know. No? No. It's growing it. Josh has got really long hair. Josh's hair is quite far down his back. He yeah. said the other day he was going to cut it. I said, no, you can't cut your hair. 
when Josh started growing his hair out, I was saying, just get it cut, get it cut, get it cut. And now it's so long and lovely. I just do not want him to get it cut. The poor child can't win. And now Finlay wants long hair too. Rebels, the pair of them. Whew. It's freezing cold. As usual, no coat. Oh, there's a load of kids down here, I best go. Hello everybody, I've come in the kitchen, let me just lower you down a little bit, in the hope that the light is better, but there's somebody shouting outside, so I don't know if you can hear that, hopefully the camera's not picking it up. It's half past five, I'm just waiting for Danny, he's just in the middle of something, he'll be along in a minute. So, first of all, as well... <laughs> Do you remember me saying the other day that there's something wrong with the editing app? When I put something on the screen, it stays there for the entire video. That is why when I put the name up, it just stays there and there's nothing I can do. It seems to be a, a bug in the editing app. So that's the reason why. So I'm really sorry about that. I don't quite know how to stop it. <laughs> I'm so useless with technology. Just because I've tried before when I've done them um, giveaways to pick a winner and put the screen recording up but you can never see it properly so I'll just carry on as we are and if you can just put up with the name being on the screen for the rest of the video I'm really sorry <sighs> so I've had a lovely lovely day today it's been a really relaxed just day of rest today which has been much needed so I'm really sorry I've got something in my eye it's been really, really lovely. Anyway, it's taking ages, isn't it? It's taking forever. We'll just carry on chatting. So I've been working on the Stephen West socks today. Oh my word, I am loving those socks. I'm about halfway down the foot. I have also cast on the fancy, sman, fancy, sman, fancy, what's the pattern called? Fancy Pantsy by Stephen West, which are the advent pants. And I think the sizing is fine. I'm going to get it a little bit bigger and then I'm going to try them on. But it looks so much better on sizing already. They're going to take me a while. They're not going to be a, a quick project because it's a pair of pants in finger and weight yarn. But that's what I wanted. So, yeah, they're going to take me a while. So I'm going to have other projects running alongside these ones. Definitely. I can't just work on these. It'll take me three, by the way. <laughs> Hello. He's here. <laughs> Hi. So this is the cup from yesterday for the prize and it is do, 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 do. this gorgeous <laughs> cup which you can now see properly because we're in better light. The key ring of and course. the magnet. And the magnet of course. So I have Danny's phone on hand. Down here. Oh, oops. Who's going to win today? Who's going to win? Birthday Bonanza Day 3. Oh, sorry, Bob. Share that so I can get the link. YouTube comment picker. Lower the screen <laughs> so he can see it on there. <laughs> So there was 115 comments. 115 comments, was there? Let me double check that. <laughs> no, that's not right. It's loaded the wrong one. There are 91 comments. Day three. What are you doing on my leg? What are you doing on the leg? No doggy. What are you doing on the leg? Hmm? That was because the first time I added the replies. Right. So here we go. And I can't read that. Kirsty McMillan. There we go. Kirsty McMillan. And you said, the shawl is fabulous, I love Delicious. the colours and the shape of it. So, Kirsty, you are today's winner of the cup. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, next prize. 
Oh, the prize for tomorrow is a Friday. Will be yes, it will be. It is the Knit Happens Notions pouch. So it is just a little Notions pouch, and it comes with goodies. You get a twenty gram mini skein, Ooh. anti swatch club keyring, oh, trusty magnet. Of course, and... you're all going to be loving these magnets, aren't you? <laughs> A key ring with the Kitchener stitch on, and it's on both sides, and a bookmark. So if you leave comments underneath this video, then you will be entered into the draw to win that. And again, thank you very much for all your lovely comments. Thank you very much for who's come to the shop, and take it easy. Everybody. I've just tripped over the dog. Oh. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow for Is day it? four, everybody. Bye!